breaking news. $39 billion in student loan debt forgiven. Put it up. Joe Biden, somebody's trying to get reelected. According to CNBC, <laughs> the Biden administration announced Friday it would automatically forgive $39 billion in student debt for over 800,000 individuals in this country. The result or the relief is a result of fixes to the student loan systems income driven repayment plans. Under those repayment plans, those who borrowed, uh, they get any remaining uh, debt canceled, can get it canceled by the government after they have made payments for 20 or 25 years, depending on what they borrowed and their loan and plan type. There's my, the announcement comes weeks after the Supreme Court struck down the Joe Biden sweeping student loan forgiveness plan, which would have delivered relief for about 37 million individuals. The education department would notify eligible individuals in the coming days. This this is still a drop in the you know bucket. It's boom. It doesn't solve the problem. Affordability of higher education is the problem. Uh, massive student loan debt is the problem because the government enhanced. The problem that you see today, these things are able to be fixed. And Biden, well, he feels restricted by the US Supreme Court. Um, There are some other creative ways he could do this. Uh, The Secretary of Education has the ability to simply not collect debt that's due. All right, that's another way that has not been explored fully. All right, Jeff, thoughts? People are saying that Biden is thwarting Supreme Court ruling, but we know from the Supreme Court that they just want some of his billions. Shout right. out to Clarence Thomas. Exactly. Wait, can we get at least one billionaire to buy? So anyway, welcome to Indisputable. I'm your host, Dr. Rashad Richard. We got a lot happening today. But what do we do on this show? We tell the truth. You know why we tell the truth? Because the truth is simply indisputable. Rashad, great to be here. Congratulations on the new show. And I gotta let everybody know that Rashad and I go way back. Here's the pattern that we see in all of these Karen stories. They think they own stuff they do not own. Now, where does that come from? I don't know, maybe slavery. Maybe they think they should still own black people. This is what happens when Karens weaponize the police. When you're used to privilege, equality seems like oppression. It hits you in a certain way when someone is holding you against your will, treating you like you're a criminal and you're an innocent person. This is something that black people face no matter where they are. A stronger black economy lends itself to a a stronger, greater economy. Don't think it's exclusive of you, it's inclusive of you. What's your beef with critical race theory? It adds more fuel to the fire of the racist tendencies that we already have. We have a generation of problem solvers that can remedy the problem if they are properly taught what the problem is. You know who created redlining in this country? Mm-hmm. The white liberal. I, I, don't, I don't give a damn who created it. If it's a uh, racist uh, policy, uh, racist uh, policy. Uh, Shelly, here's what, what I don't know. I don't know. See, there you go filibustering, brother. You're scared of this truth, but you're gonna get it though. 